I just had a full day of mid-year critiques setting up now this graduate program. So I've spent the whole morning talking about objects, um, developing more of a sense of criticality when looking at things, which is very interesting when I talk about this amazing exercise that you just offered to me, of being able to talk about an object, specifically an object, where there isn't much written about it. So what that does is rather than just saying, oh, I like this. I intuitively like this object. I knew I was going to have to speak about it for 45 minutes, which means I have to use the bore more as a springboard and begin to think about all the stuff that possibly surrounds this object rather than going directly to it. So I guess this is sort of a precursor in terms of where I'm going to go with this. Um, I was just talking to Betsy that it was almost like how I do research for my own work. And it allowed me to think about the bore from different angles. How was it made? What is its uh, social and cultural context? What was happening in the year that it was made? Can I think about it in terms of value? And so that would be material value, but also technical. I mean, it is technically amazing. So that sort of value of skill. And also, I cannot avoid the cute factor. Um, and you'll know that if, if, you, if you understand my work a little bit better, you'll see why I'm sensitive to that. So anytime you have a smallish scale uh, animal sculpture, that cute factor is kind of unavoidable. So I want to talk about it through that lens as well.